these standoffs, well, one, there's only four of them. Any board on the market, you're going to need more than just these four because the board's going to extend at least this high. You're going to need some up here. And then some boards might not use these four at all. The holes drilled in the board might actually be in a different position than the, where these standoffs are put in. So the first thing we want to do is to take a nut driver and take the standoffs that are in the case back out. Now if you've got a photographic memory, you can take these guys out and you can set your motherboard in the case and just eyeball what holes line up. But the safe thing to do is to use a magic marker. First we're going to take our board and we're just going to gently set it down in the case. We don't even have to set it all the way down in the case. All we need to do is take our board and set it down about where the I.O. will line up. But you can see what I'm doing here is I'm not lining up the holes that are going to um, that I'm going to be putting screws into. Reason being is because I'm just going to mark these with my magic marker. See here if we line this up looks like the topmost hole here and this hole here and this this board's unusually deep so it looks like we're probably going to actually use this one in the corner here right behind the three and a half bays and it looks like another one right here. Okay. We're going to take our standoffs we're going to screw them into the board. Now it looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight holes. So from the parts pack that comes with the case Remember, it comes with the case, not the motherboard. I'm pulling out eight standoffs. All I'm going to do is screw them in the holes that have my magic marker markings on them. Obstructions are your biggest pain in the neck. This is one of the reasons why I put the motherboard in before the drives. I mean, you could put the drives in before the motherboard, but it's, it's good to have a clear shot to the bottom of the case. This case you can get away with it better than other cases because this thing drops right off. All you gotta do is take that and slide that right off and look at that. Now you got all the room in the world. But uh, it doesn't matter. This board's kind of an unusual one. It's a micro ATX board, which means it's only gonna go down this far. That part's normal for a micro ATX board, but it's really deep. Most boards are long and skinny. They go this way, they give you all the slots, but they don't go this far out. So I'm going to double check these. I don't want to over tighten them. I just want to screw them in by hand right now. But once I get them all somewhat tight, I'm going to take my nut driver and tighten these guys down. Um, I just twist it like with the tips of my fingers, so it's not a lot of torque. I'd have to say, you know, probably not even two, three foot pounds. <laughs> you know, it's that little. It's really slight twist. Drop the board in here and line up my OEO first in the back like that and then drop it in. Okay. Now, this is where your paper washers would normally go. Um, a lot of boards you'll see you got the silver ring here. It's kind of like a little protective area on the board. They know there's going to be a screw going through there anyway. So, you know, why bother with the paper washers? Uh, you'll see this hole right here doesn't have a silver ring on it, and you see that I also didn't put a uh, standoff underneath it either. That doesn't seem to be a very, pl uh, very safe place for a standoff, um, so I'm just going to leave it out. Besides, you're not really installing anything on this far, far corner of the board that's going to make that board flex so much that that would be a concern. So once that is done, where well, you can now screw in the motherboard. Okay. What we're going to do is just drop our screws in the holes one at a time. Having a magnetic screwdriver here really helps a, not, uh, helps a lot. Unfortunately, I do not have a magnetic screwdriver. Now, when I tighten this down, I'm only going to tighten it down a little bit. See that? It's still loose. Because if you just put these screws in, loose, and line up all the holes, you can make sure that everything's lined up right first, and then tighten them all down. Got this one.
Okay, and one more. Nope, two more. One back here behind the ATX power connector. Hey, that was so bad. Lucky for me, there's about an inch of space here for me to get my fingers. <laughs> and one right behind here, behind the ram. So, you can see here the board's anchored down, but none of the screws are tight. You can hear it rattling around. But certainly everything's lined up now, so now I can proceed to screw down the, screw down the screws. Just like that. And again, I don't over-tighten them. I've seen these where you over-tighten them, and uh, uh, the fiberglass cracks. Now remember here, you're only dealing with four paper-thin layers of fiberglass. Okay, you over-tighten it, that sucker's shattering, no doubt. That's just, that would not be good for him. I already got that one. And there you go.